the beginning and the end of Chinese and math are easy to know my last I saw this project as an opportunity for um, older people and younger people to talk about the stories we tell about ourselves, the images we use and the words we use and the power of those things, tremendous power of those things to create not only what we believe but what we do, how we act, how we behave. And I think the most powerful thing in the world is to teach people um, how to tell their story. Today we're, we're talking about the IDEA project, which is the intergenerational dialogue between elders and youth. And we're talking about the program that we did where we worked with our youth to connect them to our elders in order to find sources of strength and areas of their personal lives from which they can draw support to carry them through in tough times. The goals of the IDEA project were to bring together um, uh, adult and elder role models into the school uh, with the youth to help promote wellness for the youth, uh, integrating intergenerational mentorship across generations, uh, integrating um, reflection on sources of strength and resilience, and um, uh, allowing the youth to create their own stories that integrated those strengths. In Alaska, we do have some of the highest rates of suicide in the nation, um, especially within the age range of 15 to 24. And so it, it is a major issue that is always talked about in the media, always talked about in written scholarly works. But what is less talked about is the strengths, the resilience, and the cultural um, capacity that lies within Alaska Native people and communities. This is important because um, cultural change has resulted in disruptions in uh, cultural traditions and values that can make it uh, difficult for young people to really have a strong sense of who they are and where they come from. So the first step was talking with the community, talking with Nanana, and uh, talking with them about um, what it was like for the youth um, at their high school and what would, uh, things that they thought would be helpful for the youth. The Community Steering Committee is a group of people who uh, are in Nanana who are committed to promoting youth wellness. Nanana, I love almost everything about it. Uh, the accessibility to the outdoors. You can go in any direction and just go and go and go and never never come to the end of the road. I think we guided and advised as best we could of how um, to engage with our kids here. Kids that come from villages that have 10 to 15 kids in the high school total. So coming here they have much larger classes and they have more opportunities, a variety of classes that they wouldn't have in the village. The method that we use to tell the stories of the youth uh, were really helping the youth to think and reflect about sources of strength in their lives, providing sources of inspiration through the films that represent stories of role models who had experienced hardships but found strength and resilience. And this project allows them to do that. Doing digital storytelling allows them to, to tell their story. It's just so intuitive for them to create these stories and they can add music and they can add um, text that makes sense to them without having to stand in front of a crowd and necessarily just like tell their story. My sister and one of my friends told me about a school in Ninana, but I didn't realize on how long I would be gone away from home. I really had to think twice about leaving the town I called home forever. They have a very high probability of getting into it, uh, and that's alcoholism. And my story it was how I, I battled alcoholism, drug abuse, drug addiction, and how I came out of it. I looked at the bottle of whiskey and said, you're not going to get the best of me, man. And I put it down. That was over 30 years ago. I've been alcohol and drug free up to this day. I went through some hard times that year. 
I want the students to know that they have the strength within them to create the life that they want to live. That was very evident in their stories that they're, even through the hardship, they had everything within them to make their life what it is today. More than that, you're doing it to support yourself as a person. You know, sharing your story is a powerful thing. Yeah, I was crying watching you. I'm running away from you. I just remember that they they motivated me in a way that no one no one can. My family has so much support for me. It is crazy. No matter what I do in my life, they're always going to be there by my side. Seeing the the final products obviously was was really incredible uh, to watch how the kids were able to take what was the seed of an idea within them and turn it into something that they felt proud showing in front of an audience. I thought it was going to be challenging. Like making a video was like, I don't know how to do that, but after he helped me and described how I could do it and yeah, he's, he helped the whole class. I want to work on my social skills every day to prepare myself for my future. My strength is my determination. Seeing the, the pride and seeing the confidence in showing those films was definitely a huge part of the success of this project as well. And I'm loving every day and everything in my life. I'm truly blessed on how I made a life-changing decision. We just really highly encourage parents to allow their students to participate and be part of this project to tell their story of strength and resilience and in essence rewrite this narrative that is so often portrayed in um, media and in written scholarly works. It's a project I think that should go on further than Ninana. We have kids already from all over Alaska that are doing this and so I'm hoping that even if it's not formally taken as a project, the concept will be taken experientially by those kids that have done it. Many of our students also talked about how supported they felt here at our school. I try new things and learn what you can and just keep on being active. My experience with sharing is like once it's out, there's no fear. Like it's not there anymore, you're free. You're free.